Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Now, you guys loved last week's summer skincare video so much. I knew we had to do some more summer skincare content. And one area in my skincare routine that I particularly struggle with in the summertime is actually serums, believe it or not. You know, I put so much of my emphasis, especially in the hot temperatures on toners and essences, really light and watery products that my serum just can kind of get lost in the mix. A lot of the serums I love in the fall and winter and spring just don't work in the summertime. So today I wanted to share some picks for you, especially like I feel like if I'm going through this problem, I'm sure a lot of other people are too. So today I have seven serums for you that cover all different types of concerns. I've got serums for hydration, for anti-irritation and calming. I've got anti-aging and I've got brightening. So if you're so ready to find out about these seven serums, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. Now, summertime means more sun, and of course, we definitely need to be protecting ourselves with sunscreen, but the sun can definitely kind of overstimulate the skin, right? It can make it kind of red, kind of hot and irritated. It can even increase dehydration. So it's great to go in with some really nice, beautiful, soothing and anti-irritation type products after exposure to the sun. Let's talk about Bonajour Propolis Serum. Now, this is really gonna be for those of you with more oily to combination skin types. This features 81% of propolis and I mean propolis like what can it do right? It's actually a really great ingredient for soothing and calming down the skin. It's got great anti-inflammation properties particularly good if you suffer from acne because it can really help with the inflammation from the pimple. It can help facilitate the healing process. It can help reduce redness. So all around just a really fantastic ingredient. Now the texture is so surprising to me because as you know, I've tried a lot of propolis serums in my time. I, it's a category of product that I really enjoy, but I don't think that I have ever come across a propolis gel texture. Yeah, this was really surprising to me because this is such a beautiful lightweight gel. You spread this across your skin and it feels so hydrating, so watery, but then it dries down with this beautiful like whisper of moisture to it, just really balancing on the skin, but it's got no greasiness at the top, no richness, no shininess, no stickiness, none of that. Very, very, very lightweight. And Bonajour does really market this product uh, as having sebum controlling properties. It can really help with excessive oil production by balancing your skin's oil and water. And you know what, I have to admit, I did feel the effects of that on my skin because I get quite oily in my T-zone and I do feel like it, it did a good job with that throughout the day. So I really think if you're oily, like don't be afraid of propolis, generally a, a thicker textured um, type of ingredient. And in fact, in the uh, sister video to this, the summer skincare video, I did talk about a few propolis products that were lighter in texture. I'm gonna add this one into it. This is probably even lighter than those because of that that really beautiful texture. So a real winner from Bonajour, especially for oily skin. When you think soothing, I think a lot of us think Centella. The Purito Centella Unscented Serum is so beautiful, so calming, so soothing, and I really think that it's appropriate for all skin types. Now this features 49% of centella extract. In addition to that, it also includes three different compounds found in centella, including asiaticide, asiatic acid, and matacasic acid. This also features goodies like niacinamide, ceramide, and peptides. And you know, every time I say peptides, I'm like, well, which peptides? Because they're not all created equal. The peptides in the Purito Serum, they are Matrixyl 3000, really well studied a pair of peptides that have shown great benefits for reducing fine lines, for improving elasticity and the tone of skin. This Purito Serum is actually the unscented spin-off version of the Purito Buffet Serum. The word buffet in skincare, it doesn't mean all you can eat. It actually represents all in one, like a skincare product that actually addresses not just one skincare concern, but multiple skincare concerns. And that is so true of this serum because yes, 49% of Centella, definitely soothing, definitely calming. However, 
it's got a whole host of other benefits to it. So Centella actually has anti-aging benefits all on its own. It can actually help stimulate your skin's collagen production. We've also got benefits for anti-aging from the peptides that we just mentioned. We've got niacinamide and uh, ceramide, which niacinamide, great for brightening the skin, but it's also moisture barrier supportive along with the ceramide. So this is actually really geared towards a lot of different benefits for the skin. Not only is the all-in-one feature of the serum gonna make it just a great choice for a whole host of people, the texture is so universal, I can just never get over it because I know as somebody who recommends a lot of skincare, I feel so confident recommending this one for any skin type because that gel texture, so pleasing, so lightweight, and so hydrating. This is actually really excellent for after the sun. I personally, when I've been in the sun just a little too long, it actually increases my skin's dehydration and I feel very, very, um, like very dehydrated. I, I need to be replenished. And this is one of those serums that brings all those healing benefits, all the anti-irritation, the good um, preventative anti-aging benefits that I'm always seeking for, and some really beautiful deep and healing hydration. It is so totally an all-in-one, and I just love it. Now, speaking of anti-aging, the Purito is a great choice, especially if you need some of those other things we just talked about, but this is actually a great segue into one of the other anti-aging serums that I wanted to talk about, which is the Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drop. And this is gonna be great for those of you with combination all the way up to dry skin. Now the name is always confusing to me because you know, oil drop, I'm like, okay, what oils are in here? And there's actually no oils in the formulation, but really what the name is trying to suggest is a serum that brings, you know, the benefits of a serum and a facial oil. So balancing moisture and nourishment on the skin without any of those drawbacks like thickness, heaviness, and greasiness. So star players here are are gonna be a lot of green tea water. This also features rice and kelp extracts. Plus we have ceramides, peptides, and some fermented ingredients. The peptides being used here, copper tripeptide one, which is something that I call the gold standard when it comes to anti-aging peptides, because it really is one of the best peptides to stimulate your skin's own collagen production. Now, when you stimulate more collagen on your skin, that's when you're going to result in more firm, youthful, elastic, plump skin. It also helps to fight fine lines and wrinkles. The other peptide in here is acetyl hexapeptide 8. Now, this is actually, you know, I, I always like put a warning out about it that kind of sounds negative. It's, it's not a bad peptide at all. It's just what I call a temporary effect peptide. This is actually known as the Botox peptide because it has a really great effect for giving your skin a really firm and lifted appearance very quickly, like within a matter of a few weeks. However, this effect does wear off when you stop using the skincare product, including the acetyl hexapeptide 8. So it's something to be aware of. It is going to give you visible results. Just know that they're not lasting improvements on your skin like copper tripeptide can give you with the collagen production. Acetyl hexapeptide 8 gives you beautiful but temporary results. Now this is just such a lovely serum, you know, with those great peptides aside, it does deliver a lot of antioxidants to the skin. And it is actually quite a, a, an interesting texture because it is quite hydrating on the skin, but it does have that nourishment to it. Um, this is such a nice, uh, really silky texture on the skin. It absorbs very well and it will leave a little bit of glowiness to your skin. It's not quite straight up shininess, but you will get that little bit of a glass skin appearance. I'm unsure if those of you with truly oily skin are going to appreciate the, the effects of this, you know, the finish of this serum, um, because it might make you a little bit too shiny. Hydrating serums. And I want to talk about the Nine Wishes Hydra Ampule Serum. This is like the serum, the serum I am just reaching for over and over and over again. My skin just drinks this beauty up. This is actually so good if you're suffering from dehydration or you just want a super hydrating serum. This is it. 
Now, star ingredient is 51% of coconut water and it's chock full of amino acids. That is oftentimes like the secret sauce. I feel like to a lot of my favorite deeply hydrating products like the Keep Cool and Soothe Bamboo Toner, this has a lot of amino acids, vitamins, and minerals for the skin, but it just, it really, really gets in there deep with some real repairing hydration. Now, the Hydra in the Hydra line from Nine Wishes is actually a combination of three different ingredients, and that's baobab seed extract, squalene, and hyaluronic acid. And I find this, this combination actually really interesting because it's actually bringing that little touch of moisture the hydration, but that little touch of balancing moisture. You really can't feel it too much in the serum. It is so lightweight, it is so hydrating. There's really not much of a slip to this one, but there is that just little bit of balance to this formulation that really makes it just feel so deeply hydrating, but it's lasting hydration on the skin. Besides just that deep hydration, you know, the texture is a real standout on its own and that's what's making it, at least for me personally, really ideal for summertime because it is so light and so quickly absorbed. Now, the ingredients do add just this whisper of, of balancing moisture, but you don't feel it on the, like, you don't feel it in the texture. You don't feel a richness. You don't see shininess. It doesn't feel thick on the skin. It actually layers with other skincare incredibly well. It's just so, so, so lightweight. And I just find it so ideal for summertime because it's like your skincare is not building up oppressively on your skin. Now, some of us just need a little bit more balance from our serums. We want a little bit more moisture content. Well, half hydration, half moisture. And I think that the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Water Essence which is a serum, actually uh, fulfills that quite well. This is gonna be really uh, best for those with combination skin to dry skin types. Now the formulation on this is actually pretty surprising. If you've tried a lot of hyaluronic acid in the past, this is pretty different. They use eight different types of hyaluronic acid at different molecular weights, so there is some good deeper hydration happening here but they balance it out with other hydrators like beta-glucan and panthenol. Also super interesting, the moisture content coming from prickly pear seed oil. Now this is an emollient plant oil that's derived from cactus seeds. And it's really interesting because it has a high content of moisture barrier supportive linoleic oil, but it is a very light, uh, very lightweight, uh, pleasing sort of texture on the skin. So it doesn't bring a lot of heaviness, but it does bring that moisture. The texture of the serum is very balanced between hydration and moisture. You get that kind of like cooling bursts on your skin at first of hydration but once it's absorbed into your skin which it does very quickly by the way it just fills it with some really nice lightweight moisture it's not greasy there's no richness and um, there's no stickiness you know a lot of hyaluronic acid products can really make your fingers stick to your cheeks and I find this texture so incredibly pleasing this is definitely going to be one of those nice light moisturizing serums to bring balance during the summertime. Let's talk about brightening serums because this can be a really exciting category of serums. Brightening serums can give you a real like big wow factor pretty quickly, um, really giving you some visible results on your goals towards helping with hyperpigmentation, evening out your complexion, and just giving it just an overall really bright, healthy, and even toned appearance. Let's talk about the Purito Galacto 97 Power Essence. And this is going to be my pick for those of you who want to brighten up your complexion, but also want some anti-aging benefits. Because this features 5% of niacinamide, a very effective skin brightener, but 5% is actually the ideal range to really bring out niacinamide's anti-aging benefits. Because as you may know, niacinamide can stimulate your skin's own collagen production helping to fight fine lines and wrinkles and really maintain skin's elasticity. So very exciting, and this is really truly the, the correct percentage. This also features a 92% of Galactomyces ferment, which is often the secret sauce star ingredient of first essences, because Galactomyces really brings a beautiful, um, 
brightening benefit to the skin. It's jam-packed full of antioxidants and it has just a really great overall sort of supportive um, benefit for preventing aging on the skin. Now the texture. Um, this could be make or break. I do believe that this serum can work for all skin types because it's so lightweight but um, there are some things that you really need to be aware about this before you go ahead and, and hit purchase, right? So the texture is very uh, light and runny, but as you get this into your skin, it does oddly have this oil finish to it. It's very, very light. It's actually very close to like what I, what I call a dry oil. So it's not super nourishing or heavy, but it just has that little, that little slip at the top of your skin. If you are on the oily side, I think this will contribute to your shininess. Uh, this is not heavy or thick, so I think that this could actually just be something that you reserve for your nighttime use um, instead of using it during the daytime. That's the really one of the drawbacks that I see, but either than that, I do think that this can work for all skin types. I do, do think that this is actually the right choice for those of you with more sensitive skin because higher percentages of niacinamide can actually be kind of stimulating to especially sensitive skin. This is on the more gentle side, but still incredibly effective. This 100% brings the brightening. I can attest to that. It will brighten up your skin and it's got a lot of uh, preventative anti-aging benefits behind it as well. Let's talk about TM Vita B3 Source Serum. This is actually another niacinamide serum, but um, they're not all the same. They actually can bring some different benefits. And this particular one is going to be really great for those of you with acne prone skin and excessive sebum production a lot of oil on your skin. Now this is using 10% of niacinamide and uh, that doesn't actually make it like better than Purito. It's not more is more in this case. I'm going to explain what 10% of niacinamide does um, in just a second, but I do want to do a quick shout out to an additional brightening ingredient in this serum called Arbitin, which is found here at 2%. Arbitin can really help brighten up your overall complexion, but it has a pretty well-known benefit for really working on some of that older sun damage on your skin. Pretty effective at that. When it is formulated in combination with niacinamide, they actually kind of help boost each other. So it's great to find them together in one serum. Now let's get back to niacinamide because as I mentioned earlier, more is not more. 10% of niacinamide does not make this a better brightening serum than the Purito. Actually, all you need is 2% and, and anything above to get the ideal brightening benefits from niacinamide, which both serums are giving us. But when you formulate niacinamide at different percentages, different benefits start to come out. Just like in the Purito, that 5% real ideal for anti-aging benefits to come into play. At 10%, there's some different benefits that come out, like um, helping to regulate sebum production on the skin. This can kind of help regulate your skin's oil production. Production. It also has a great benefit for reducing inflammation and redness on the skin, like hello acne, right? This can help reduce your pimples. And it has a great uh, benefit for really encouraging your skin to shed its dead skin cells more effectively. Dead skin cells hanging around on the skin too long is what causes pimples and clogged pores. So if you can kind of help shed those off a little bit faster, in theory, your skin should become more clear. And that's why a lot of people can see some real benefits for pore refinement with ni like high percentage niacinamide serums because as you start to clear all those dead skin cells and that gunk out of your skin, the pores start to uh, appear smaller because they're not full of gunk, right? So niacinamide has a lot of different benefits for more acne prone and oily skin types when it's formulated at 10%. And I just want to quickly note before we move on, everything that I just said does mean that this niacinamide serum can cause purging on the skin. It can kind of make some of those pimples come up a little bit sooner. Now the texture is so elegant. It is so lightweight. It is not sticky. It is not tacky. It is not greasy. It is not oily. It is not weird. <laughs> A lot of niacinamide focused products can just have strange textures and this just isn't one of them. It's a beautiful surprise from TM. They've done such a great job with this texture and I think it'll be very appropriate for oily skin types especially. Now this definitely will brighten up your skin. It works very effectively on hyperpigmentation. You will wake up with very glowing and even complexion the next morning. You'll be like, wow, no doubt about it. It 100% works in the brightening 
testing department. Now, when I was testing the serum out, it was um, towards the beginning of this year, it was quite a few months ago now, I did notice that it um, really helps to reduce inflammation with a few pimples that I had and reduce redness. It really kind of helps speed up the, the pimple life cycle, if you will. I did notice um, some minor, but still beneficial, um, benefits for the pores around my nose. They did appear to be a little bit smaller um, in appearance. Very, very subtle, but I did notice it. The other thing that I want to say about this one, and I think this actually just attests to the uh, sebum controlling abilities, with my skin, which at the time was a lot more dry and a lot more dehydrated, like this was towards the end of winter, right? This serum did actually make my skin feel a little dry, um, a, a little bit more dry, a little bit more tight because it has sebum controlling properties. So if you don't have extra sebum, extra oil on your skin to spare, it's not gonna work really well for you. So just a word of warning, um, not for you dry folks out there. This is gonna really shine for you guys who have a little bit more oiliness on your skin. You're gonna love the oil controlling properties that this has. So I hope you guys enjoyed that overview of seven serums that are actually pretty great for all seasons, but those textures are gonna make them really great choices for those hot and humid months. So I'm curious to know, what serum are you using now? Let me know in the comment box below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, but you enjoyed the video, you want to see more from me, don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave. I release two new Korean skincare focus videos every single week. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on those videos. Sometimes I release extra videos. And um, come join me on Instagram if you want a daily dose of K-beauty on your feed and in your stories. I post there with mini reviews, routines. I introduce all kinds of new products that you might not see on YouTube. So come join me on Instagram and don't forget to say hi. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.